so it's called the Peewit and as you can see it can accommodate American RVs quite big nice and quaint and check these fish out I don't know whether they're hungry and people feed them or whether that's just something they do Maybe you could tell us and even what type they are, because I haven't got a clue. Not that I really do toilet and shower reviews because I don't usually use them, but here you've obviously got your urinals, you've got your toilets, nice and clean. I don't know what that is, another toilet. I'm assuming there's a shower somewhere. And then you get a key which you pay 10 pounds for, and then you return the key when you're finished. So as you can see here, this is a mixture of static homes and a large area at the front for tourers. Sadly for us, this chemical waste area is no good, like a lot of campsites, because ours is a huge hose and needs to go down the drain. So that's a bit of a problem. Thankfully our bog can withstand sometimes up to a month. As you can see, very neat, very tidy, very spacious. I think it was slightly more than we normally paid, normally would pay. I think you're talking about 30 quid a night. As opposed to say 20, 25. That's still really lovely. You're only about five minute walk from the seafront. Staff are all really friendly, really accommodating. It's quite complicated when you book in online because they do want all your, there's our little baby. They want all your details. You've got, it's almost like booking a ferry. You've got to put passport detail, dates of birth, sex, age, everything. But absolutely lovely none this for less. Nice big wide entrance for vehicles like ours as you can see. Right, let's return the key.